Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge again. And holy cow, I get finished uploading a video just like yesterday. And two more things come up. So we're going to cover these two in just this one video. But I want to bring emphasis. My console captains. Yes! Let's go. Here we go. Finally, finally, we are going to start getting our free items as of today, captains. And yes, there in the thumbnail, I took a picture. I'm sorry, it's only a screenshot. But of the two ultimate tech upgrades that you, that we get for free. I went to my PS4 account. So yes, it's there. Get it. And captains, I'll also drop my other info as we go on. But here we go. First, what we'll do is go over the blog the additional information of the blog comparing it to what we got on pc about a month ago and then we'll go over the command the new command section 31 dreadnought that came out too as well so it's a twofer because ultimately that will also come down to us console captains so here we go as we stare into the mirror hoping to see our future one thing is clear star trek online's 12th anniversary is fast approaching 12 years that's an insane number for any video game 100 percent agree and to say thank you for all your continued support we're following our annual tradition and doing six days of giveaways starting today again captains march 10 there'll be a new giveaway every day until march 16 so please captains if anything just log into your account daily to get the free giveaway read on to see today's giveaway so again check the promotions tab of the zen store until march 11th 10 a.m to grab specific time to grab two free ultimate tech upgrades and yes again i confirmed it's there it's in my inventory let's go now if all things are the same this is what we're going to be looking forward to captains so what we got there on here on PC, it was two ultimate tech upgrades. And then, of course, the next day should be two specialization points. The day after, one tier five ship coupon. I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited for this, Captains, because for me, on console, it's a free account. So I'll get another ship, and I'm, I'm going to have to go look at which ship to go for. Now, I have made a video on which ships that I recommend, so I'm going to have to rewatch that personally. But I'll link it in the description below, Captains, along with this video. Day after that, 7 of 9 plus Talaxian uniforms sale. So that's going to be Space Barbie right there. And of course, one T6 upgrade token. Again, I made a video on that. My recommendations for me, happy days, because that's going to be needed for that account. And then, of course, they drop a Elite Captain upgrade token. So hopefully... Things will all be the same. Of course, it's not that like they can't say and hide from us what they gave us on PC, right? So I'm looking forward to that, Captains. Again, it starts today. I'm going to emphasize that. Just log into your account, grab that free upgrade for today, and then hopefully these items to follow suit the next coming days. And then after, the red shift new episode. Yes! And then we can see Janeway also on the console bridge. So there's that. All right, so we're going to the next thing here. This, I don't know, if came out of nowhere. So there's a Command Section 31 Dreadnought. I, uh? Okay, so I did not see this coming. We knew that there was going to be an R&D ship coming, definitely. And one of the guests of my fellow captains there, Casual SAB, shout out to you, sir. It was going to be a ship that had intel. Well, what did they just do with the intel spec? They just revamped it. So this is aligning with that. So here we go. Go over the block here. Emerging from the shadows comes the next top secret vessel of the secretive organization founded to defend the Federation at any cost, by any means. The Session 31 Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. From March 17th to April 7th on PC... Okay, this will follow suit to us console captains. We will be running a promotion that will provide an additional bonus when opening newly purchased research and development packs or duty officer packs. Captains, let me just throw this out there. Over the years, 
one of the ways that I've made EC, energy credits, in-game, is through these research and development packs. Buying with the Zen that I've gathered over the years, turned into Zen, purchasing these off the C-Store, and then putting these packs on sale for EC on the exchange. So, quick tip right there. Promotion dates, console platforms will be announced at a later date. Thanks, tips. During this pr promotion, when you purchase a participating R&D or duty officer pack from the Z store and open it, you'll receive either 10 low buy crystals or a special requisition choice pack, tier six promotional ship choice pack, in addition to the normal contents of whichever pack was opened. Additional details about the participating packs will be included at the end of this announcement. We are excited to announce a brand new addition to the impressive list of tier six starships that are included in this promotional ship pack, the Section 31 Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. Okay, so it looks like a Intellified Miranda. No? Saucer, roll bar, underslung the cells. I can't say I'm liking it. The side profile looks good. And I'm not sure if this is a ship that we saw on Discovery. We're going to have to look into that. But here it is, Captain's initial thoughts. It's something that doesn't interest me right away. I will give it bonus points for the profile. The side profile looks, again, like a stealthified Reliant uh, Miranda. So it looks good that way. I like the roll bar. That's that's pretty much it. Now, okay, we're getting the details here. Section 31 Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. Deep beneath the altruism and honor of the United Federation of Planets, a darker underbelly may be found, and those who believe in the old saying that the ends justify the means may find like minds within the ranks of the secretive Section 31. Although their clandestine nature may run counter to the concept of fielding large flagships, the needs of this organization occasionally necessitate a strong arm to enforce their drastic measures. This starship features a commander engineering intelligence station, haha, <laughs> surprise, surprise, and a lieutenant commander command station. Not bad, captains. You know I love my command. And I said this before in the Intel revamp video that we did. I've always liked Intel. Surgical Strikes has always been my favorite power. So to me, for the way that I play nightly, these two specializations for me work. And they also have things that could feed off of each other, like concentrated firepower, of course. Unconventional systems is going to work with a lot of the newer Intel revamp stuff. So it's it's a good synergistic chip. And plus, plus of course, torpedoes meta. Here's details. Tier 6. Federation, Federation in line, it must complete the trial. Hull modifier 1.55, shield 1.25, weapons 4.4. Device slots four, and then of course here's the bridge officer stations. One lieutenant commander tactical, one ensign engineering, one commander engineering slash intel, one lieutenant commander science command, and one lieutenant universal. Alan's versatile enough. I mean, we, you can make anything work, Captain. Really, in all honesty, as long as you synergize your build traits, buffs, and all that stuff. Consoles, 4 attack, 4 engineering, 3 psi. Base turn rate, 6.5. Impulse modifier, 0. 0.13. Inertia, 35. Of course, you have your plus 10 weapon power, plus 5 shield and aux. The console is a in invasive control mechanisms. Wow. Okay. Can equip dual cannons. Dark mode. So there's that whole combat variance. Cloak. Swarm mode. Hmm. So what they're saying is the hitbox on this thing is going to be massive. Just like the Section 31, right? One hangar bay equipped with Section 31 drone swarms. Warp signature masking, active sensor arrays. Of course, that's the whole revamp there to gather intelligence, defenses, weapon systems, critical systems. Cruiser command array. So you got your track fire and weapon system efficiency. And the Starship Ability Package is a Dreadnought Cruiser, so plus regen, plus damage resistance, energy and radiation, plus crit chance, max hull. And the Starship trait is Interference Drones. There's the Admiralty Stats, 
and 52 psi 40 tac 34 special two times critical rating from events so there it is a view from the aft can't say i like the aft but there it is the roll bar i love i wish i can <laughs> i wish i can stick that roll bar on a lot of ships but any roll bar in that matter the console universal invasive control mechanisms leave it to section 31 to create a torpedo designed not to not explode these projectiles burrow into enemy hulls with the primary purpose of then injecting streams of nanoscale drones into the subsystems and wiring of any enemy vessel causing chaos and confusion in an attempt to undermine an enemy's effectiveness on the battlefield. The initial impact of these projectiles is powerful enough to breach most hulls, dealing kinetic damage in the process. Then the nanobots go to work, overloading subsystems to cause electrical damage over time and rendering the afflicted starship incapable of distinguishing friend from foe. So it's a confuse as well. This console also provides a passive boost to Starship stealth and aux power, as well as providing bonuses to maneuverability while under any cloaking effect. Launch up to eight projectiles over the course of four seconds. Each seeks out a different foe in your forward arc, max one per foe. To each foe hit kinetic damage and confuse for up to 15 seconds while confused, electrical damage each second. Control expertise skill extends the duration of confuse and the linked electrical damage over time. Starship traits, interference drones. Your ship's hangars are outfitted with fleets of tiny drones designed to interfere with incoming fire and distract enemy targeting sensors. While this trait is slotted, launching hangar pets will grant your ship temporary hit points. This will trigger upon activating your launch ability, even if no new hangar pets are created. Additionally, while you have temporary hit points from any source, all of your summoned pets, hangar, consoles, devices, etc., deal increased damage. Interesting. This bonus will be checked once per second. The only effects and only affects your pets if they are within 20 clicks of you. 20 clicks, geez. Well, go that far. When launching hangar pets, temporary hit points for 15 seconds. While your temporary hit points from any source, plus 33% all damage for your pets. Does not apply to mines, targeted torpedoes, anomalies, or similar. That's interesting. Little love to carrier captains. I'm not the best carrier captain, but the recent Jurok carrier has changed my mind on that, to be honest. Dark mode combat variant. Dark mode grants stealth to your starship, but lowers your shield while active. This variant, this special variant of standard dark mode can be activated while in combat, so just a combat cloak. When activated, your shield will drop for a few seconds before the dark mode fully engages. The strength of the stealth is determined by your ship's, starship's aux power setting. Note, traits and other abilities that interact with cloaking devices will also interact with dark mode appropriately. I said this before in some videos, I'm so bad at cloaking that even if I did get the ship, I probably wouldn't use it. But it's cool. It's cool. Innate ability swarm mode. When activated, hundreds of fighter vessels will pour out of your ship and fire on anything hostile that approaches you. A number of these drones will frequently peel off from the main swarm to attack any larger vessels that approach you. Activating swarm mode will increase your ship's maneuverability. I can English, I promise, but at a small price to hull capacity. Swarm mode cannot be activated while dark mode is active as seen previously on the Session 31 Command Heavy Battle Cruiser. And then, of course, Infinity Updates. Of course, the player fortunate enough to win the ship will be presented with a choice of claiming a package containing this exciting new starship or any one of the following ships. So they've added, of course, the Kirk class and then all the here. I'll, I'll get, I will link this blog in the description, Captains, so that you can have a look at this uh, yourself. And of course, here's just, again, just more information there on that stuff that we have kind of gone over the past before we will just leave that to you captains to have a look thoughts on this my two ecs it's something not for me if i get all the ships that i want in game slash once ever coming into star trek online i would say this could be something i can see me getting just for fun to mess with but 
uh, Intel command, again, my two favorite specializations. They work well for me. This ship will do well enough, of course, obviously, in any normal advanced content. I would probably do a torpedo boat on this, of course. In elite content, again, you can build your ship any way you want, Captain. I've always said this, just synergize it and any ship will do fine. You can do whatever you want on it. As long as you're able to complete the content that you play, you should be fine. So is it recommended? I mean, for me, I won't be getting it, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of captains that will, especially those who collect starships. I will say that that roll bar looks pretty cool. And I wish that there's always a thought I had I wish we had the ability to kit bash ships of all the ships that we own, either Z store or promotional ships or lockbox ships. That would be great. Could you imagine the kit bash ability? That's canon. Mixing maxing uh, parts from different ships is canon. So there you go, captains. There's my two ECs on that. My console captains, make sure, please, you get this. And of course, I will link the description, this video at the end here. And there's my thought, of course, for the command session 31 Genesis. So a lot of things happening. And for some reason, I thought it was going to be a ship from Picard, but this makes sense. Content that will be released upcoming, of course, I think will be for the immediate future will probably be a lot of store originals. I'd say about in the next year, two years, that's when we're going to see a little mix, max, mix mashing of Star Trek from the shows into Stowe and maybe even more Stowe going to Star Trek. Who knows? So, again, Captains, there you go. Thought I'd drop those two ECs on those two things, and we're going to call it there. Live long and prosper.